Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. And um, I'm going to solve this in two ways very, very quickly. So the first method, let's go with the first method that I want to use. Okay, so we have square root of x. Okay, so we have this square root of square root of x multiplied by x. And this is equal to 8. Please take note of something that this second s is under one square root sign right now the first x is under two square root signs so we'll have x to the power of one over two multiplied by one over two and then the second s is under one square root sign that means it has the power of one over two and this is equal to eight now the next thing is this Multiply this first, so we have x to the power of 1 over 4. Multiply by x to the power of 1 over 2, which will be equal to 8. Now, let's apply one of the laws of indices that says, if you have a to the power of x, okay, multiply by a to the power of y. This is the same thing as a to the power of x plus y. Since you're multiplying the same base, you add the powers. Now I'm going to apply the same principle. So I have x, then I'll add 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2. Everything is equal to 8. Now let us continue. We have x as the base. Now the LCM of the power there will be 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2, then times 1, that will give 2. The whole of this will be 8, will be equal to 8. So this means we have x to the power of 3 over 4, and this is now equal to 8. Now I want to get the value of x, not x to the power of 3 over 4, right? So to get that, we have x to the power of 3 over 4. And the only way I can remove this power from here is to multiply it by its reciprocal, which will be 4 over 3. Now, because I introduced the reciprocal of this power, I will also introduce it to the right. So we have 4 over 3. Now, 4 will cancel 4, 3 will cancel 3. So we now have x to be equal to 8 to the power of 4 over 3 and then what does this mean this means that our x will be equal to the um the the cube root of 8 all raised to the power of 4 now why do we get this anytime you have a number raised to the power of a fraction it means that the denominator there becomes the root okay becomes the root of whatever you're going to find so because the denominator here is three we will look for the the the, the cube root of eight and then raise the answer to four so this means that our x is equal to square m um, cube root of eight is actually two meaning two times two times two will give us eight then whatever we have we raise it to the power of two and this also means that our x is equal to 16 because 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Now this is the answer to the equation according to the first method. Now let's go over to the second method. Okay so let's go over to the second method. The second method very quickly the the question is or the equation rather is square root of square root of x multiplied by x equals 8. now the first thing we will do is to remove this square root i mean the outer square root we do that by squaring this and we will equally square the other side right so that if we do that 
this and the square will cancel each other. So we have square root of x multiplied by x, which will be equal to 8 times 8, and it is 64. So you write it down. Now we will continue from here. Okay, so now we are still having another, you know, we are still having another square root, right? This means that we should also square whatever we have here. Okay, so if we square this now, this is the same thing as square root of x squared multiplied by x squared. This will cancel this. But mind you, whatever you do on one side, you do on the other side. So I'm going to square this. So now this will now be equal to 64 squared is 4096. Now this will cancel this. We're going to have x multiplied by x to the power of 2 which is now equal to 4096. Now, as it is, there's no square root anymore, but then we can multiply this. This has power of one. So now, according to the law of indices, you pick one of the bases and add the powers. So we have the power of three, which will be equal to 40, okay, 4,900 and what is that? Okay, 4096 rather. So this is what we have. Now, to remove this power of 3, we will get the cube root of both sides. So we have um, cube root of x to the power of 3. And you must write your 3 here because we are picking the cube root. Which will be equal to the cube root of 4096. Okay. Now, cube root and cube can always cancel each other. So that x will be equal to, this is cube root, there must be 3 there. So we have the cube root of 4096. Now the question is, what number do you multiply by itself 3 times to get um, 96? x to get 4096. Okay, so x is equal to cube root of this 4096 is the same thing as 16 times 16 times 16 okay so if we continue with this it means that x is equal to the cube root the cube root of 16 to the power of 3 and then cube root and the power of 3 can always cancel each other and then this is a confirmation that x is also equal to 16. So the two methods, you know, give us x to be equal to 16. Now the question is, which of these methods is, you know, easier for you? Thank you for watching.